गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स यस्टरडे वी डेट प्रैपरेशन ऑफ अल्कोहल्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डू इंडस्ट्रियल प्रैपरेशन ऑफ अल्कोहल्स एंड दैट फ्रॉम द अल्किस सो फर्स्ट इज द बाय डायरेक्ट हाइड्रेशन ऑफ अल्किस सो इट इज डन इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एसिड सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल एच टू एस ओ फोर ना एच टू एस ओ फोर इट विल चेंज इन टू एच पॉजिटिव प्लस एच एस ओ फोर नेगेटिव now one of this double bond it will shift to this carbon so it will acquire what negative charge and this will acquire positive charge now h of the h2so4 will attach with this carbon whereas hso4 negative that will attach with this carbon or it could be written as oso3h then on further reaction that is further reaction with water on heating it will form alcohol and h2so4 is regenerated now if we are having asymmetrical alkene For example, we are having propene. Then what is there? It will undergo, according to Markovnikov's rule, that is, O S O three H group will attach to the carbon which is maximum alkylated or have lesser number of hydrogen. So, for example, here in this case, it is adding to the center carbon that is C H, and H will be. H will be attached with the this CH2 negative, and there is formation of two propenol, and H2SO4 will be formed. The next is its mechanism. So how it is being formed? So first of all, what is there? There is attack of H positive. Now what is there? If these electrons will be shifting to this carbon, it can shift to both any of the carbon. But if it is shifting to this carbon, then what is there? this secondary carbocation is formed and if it is shifting to other carbon then what is there there is formation of primary carbocation which is less stable so the most favorable is the secondary carbocation now next is the water will attach with the c positive that is carbocation carbon carrying positive charge through this lone pair of electron present on oxygen and there is formation of this pro this product and now in the next step it will lose h positive and these electrons will be shifting to the oxygen and there is formation of alcohol and h positive is regenerated which is first being added here the next reaction is by oxymercuration and demercuration of alkenes now here also markovnikov rule is followed and it is also indirect hydration and it is faster than the previous hydration of alkenes now in this what is there alkene react with water in presence of this mercuric acetate tetrahydrofurane which is used as a solvent here so now what is there this oh will be attached with the carbon of the double bond which is having lesser number of hydrogen whereas hg ooc ch3 is added to the the carbon of the double bond which is having more number of hydrogen then there is formation of addition product then it is further reduction is taking place in presence of alkali oh negative and there is formation of this two propenol so here also addition reaction takes place according to markovnikov rule then third is a hydroboration oxidation of the alkenes so here there is anti markovnikov rule which is form followed so here if we are having propene which is asymmetrical alkene it reacts with bh3 that is borane to form trialkyl borane which on further oxidation with peroxide in presence of alkali there is formation of primary alcohol and there is formation of h3bo3 that is boric acid so here the addition is taking place of anti markovnikov rule that is oh is going to that carbon which is having more number of hydrogen or lesser number of alkyl groups then there is more one more process of formation of alcohol that is oxo process in this what is there ethene reacts with carbon monoxide and hydrogen in presence of catalyst that is octa carbonyl dicobalt under high temperature and pressure first it forms aldehyde so in this case there is formation of propenal which on further reduction with hydrogen in the presence of nickel that is catalytic hydrogen to form alcohol now we have started with the ethene and we get the product that is propenol so this is stepping up reaction that is one carbon is increased during this reaction 
so all these are the industrial methods of preparation of alcohols from alkenes then is the physical properties of alcohols so first is the physical state now what is their lower members they are colorless liquids having typical smell and burning taste whereas the higher members they are colorless odorless waxy solids the next is a boiling point now what is there in alcohols intermolecular hydrogen bonding is present so that's why they have had having more boiling point as compared to alkyl halides ethers or alkanes of comparable molecular masses and if we are taking the isomers so the isomers which are more branched their boiling point is lower as compared to the straight chain isomers because van der Waal interactions are less in case of branching so that's why straight chain isomer have more boiling point as compared to branch chain then is the solubility now what is here lower members are soluble in water for example if you take the case of ethyl alcohol it is soluble in water due to hydrogen bonding formed between ethyl alcohol and water whereas higher members are insoluble in water why because they lack of lack hydrogen bonding so why there is no hydrogen bonding formed because alcohol has two parts that is roh and this part is polar part and r part is the non polar part and if the alkyl part is bigger then it masks the polar nature of oh group now as a result there won't be any formation of hydrogen bonding so they are not soluble in water then last property that they are toxic in nature ethyl alcohol is less toxic but if taken in large amounts then it can be proved to be fatal the next is the chemical properties now first of all what is there it is very important that alcohols can act as both electrophiles as well as neutrophiles so how is, how is it so so it can act as nucleophiles so what is there there is presence of lone pair of electron on oxygen of the oh group now as a result it is seeking a nucleophilic center that is positive center so it can act as nucleophile and can attach with the carbocation now as a result what is there there is breakage of here there is formation of this so in the next step there is removal of h positive or you can say there is breakage of oh bond in this case when there is breakage of oh bond there the alcohols will act as nucleophiles due to presence of this lone pair of electron then how they act as electrophiles they act electrophiles when alcohols are protonated that is very important first of all alcohols has to be protonated for example if we are having this alcohol that is rch2oh now in presence of h positive there is protonation that is hydrogen will attach with the oxygen having lone pair of electron as a result protonated alcohol will be formed that is oxygen will carry positive charge now in the next step what is there there is this oxygen it will take up these electrons from this and it will leave so as a result this atom that will acquire which charge is this positive charge now it can attach with any negative center or you can say it can act as an electrophile so there is removal of water and it can attach with the cl negative and can act as an electrophile and there is formation of rch2 cl now here what is there there is breakage of co bond is broken down then it can act as what that is the electrophile now alcohol show three type of reaction first type of reaction in which oh bond is broken second where co bond is broken breakage of co bond then there is breakage one type of reaction in which there is breakage of oh bond as well as co bond that is alkyl o bond so it is undergoing these three kind of reactions so first we will do in which the breakage of roh bond is taking place that is oh bond is breaking down or you can say it is showing the acidic nature of alcohol also because here there is breakage of ro negative plus h positive it is releasing h positive now if we will see the reactivity order of alcohols then what we will find that methyl alcohol then primary then secondary then tertiary why is it so because if we take the case of tertiary then what is there there is the plus i effect of the alkyl group 
as a result electron density on carbon will increase which in turns is increased on oxygen as a result it is reluctant to take the electrons of the oh bond as a result removal of h positive is difficult so it is least reactive whereas in case of primary or primary alcohol there is only one r group so it can release less electrons and the electron density on oxygen will be less so as a result oh bond will be broken down easily so the reactivity order is methyl primary secondary and tertiary now they are weakly acidic even weaker than water because here there is one plus i group that is r group is present there is in water there is no plus i effect present here due to presence of this hydrogen now first kind of reaction of this type is the reaction with metals now even though they are weakly acidic but still they react with the strong metals such as sodium potassium so they will react with them to form what that is sodium alkoxide plus hydrogen is released here so there is formation of sodium meth oxide then the alcohols also react with sodium hydrides hydrides also again there is formation of sodium alkoxide plus hydrogen is liberated the next is reaction with grignard's reagent now here what is there this magnesium will has positive charge whereas alkyl group has negative charge now what is there this alkyl group it will take proton from the alcohol and as a result there is formation of alkene in this case it is methane and there is formation of mgbr and och3 so there is formation of what that is alkenes and alkyl groups come from the rmgx that is of the grignard reaction then is esterification now in esterification also there is removal of h from here and oh from here as a result alcohol react with acid so h from alcohols and oh from carboxylic acid is done is given in presence of sulfuric acid so as a result there is formation of ester ch3co ch3 plus water now h2so4 is dehydrating agent so it will keep on removing water from the mixture as a result reaction will be moving to the forward side and more of the product will be filled then last is the reaction with acid chlorides for example ch3col cocl that is ethanol chloride plus alcohol here also there is breakage of oh bond and removal of hcl again there is formation of an ester that is methyl ethanoid and formation of hc so all these are the reactions in which there is breakage of oh bonds so do tell here we will take next kind of reactions tomorrow thank you